Hello, everyone. In this video, I'm going to provide you with a payroll overview. Let me share my screen. <clears throat> okay. Most of us have received a paycheck. And if you look at your pay stub, it may be kind of confusing because you may have earned, let's say in this case, $4,000 but yet your net check, the amount that you can cash is only $2,854. Well, why is that? Well, the employer is instructed by the government to withhold certain amounts from your paycheck, okay? So uh, the amounts are for federal income tax, state income tax, FICA, which is Social Security and Medicare. In fact, FICA stands for Federal Insurance Contributions Act. And that's the law that created Social Security and Medicare. And in California, they'll collect uh, uh, SDI from you. And you can see that on your uh, pay stub. In fact, I think I'm, I'm going to give you an example of that in the next video. Okay. So how does the employer do it and know what to do? Well, first off, the employer has to calculate your gross pay. And that would be like, uh, well, if, if you you work 40 hours and you um, earn $20 an hour, you just multiply the, you know, the hours times the rate to get your gross pay. In this case, it's $4,000. But wait, they're not going to give you the $4,000. The government told, told them that they have to withhold certain amounts. One is uh federal income tax now uh, we're not going to get into the actual calculations of that and how we do it uh, i will tell you that uh federal income tax i call fit is based upon uh the amount that you've earned the more you earn uh the more they're going to withhold and that's uh not just the dollar amount but your rate is going to be higher right? So a guy who's making 20000 a year is not going to be uh, taxed at the same rate as a guy that's making 200000 a year. The guy that's making 200000 a year is going to be taxed at a much higher rate, okay? <laughs> now, you can go to a table and figure all that out, um, or you can let the computer do it. And that's why, why it's so beautiful that, uh, like, using QuickBooks, because It'll, it will automatically know what, what to withhold, okay? The next one is state income tax. Same thing. It's based upon uh, uh, the amount. And, of course, I tell you here about marital status. So uh, there's different tables for married versus single uh, folks. So... The next uh, section would be FICA, which is Social Security and Medicare. Now, uh, in Social Security, it's always based on a percent, uh, and it's up to a certain amount. So in my example, I say that uh, it's 6.2% on the first 118500 Okay, So if you make over 118500 it stops. Right now, this is not the correct amount. This is what what it was maybe like in 2018. It changes every year, but I don't change my handout just because you know the principle is the same. So to get this Social Security amount, you would just take the gross pay of four thousand times six point two percent to get your uh, Social Security of two forty eight. Now Medicare is based on 1.45%, uh, right? And there's no limit. So to get this amount, 4,000 times 1.45% is uh, $58. And next you'll see uh, they're going to withhold uh, SDI, which is state disability insurance. <clears throat> now, not all states have uh, state disability insurance, right? California does, but another state may not. And it's interesting, most textbooks don't even cover that because it's so different. 
But in California, this is what you'll see. So what happens is they're going to take your gross pay and deduct for federal income tax of 600, state income tax of 200, Social Security of 248, uh, 58 for Medicare, and uh, 40 for SDI. So your net check is only $2,854. Now, that seems like a lot to remember, right? I'm going to teach you a way to remember this. Matter of fact, if you uh, see me at Fashion Fair and say, hey, what are the deductions uh, to uh, employees check? <clears throat> you know what I'll say? Fit, sit, FICA, SDI. I know this is weird, but I want you to say it with me twice. And the third time, I want you to close your eyes and say it. Let's do it together. Ready? Fit, sit, FICA, SDI. One more time. Fit, sit, FICA, SDI. Close your eyes. Fit, sit, FICA. SDI. Okay, open up your eyes. Now, it is kind of weird, but now you remember it, right? If I see you at River Park, hey, man, what's the, the deductions for an employee's check? You're going to say FIT, SIT, FICA, SDI. Isn't it great? It's easy. Okay, now I'm going to use this um, these amounts that you'll see on your pay stub, and I can challenge you to, to look at your pay stub, and you'll see FIT, SIT, Social Security, Medicare, and SDI. I, I can guarantee you in the state of California. Okay, so what are we going to do with this information? We're going to put it into what we call an employee journal entry. So our wages expense is going to be how much the uh, employee earned. In that case, it's four thousand. So our 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 amount for wages expense is four thousand. Debit wages expense. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put all of these withholdings uh, as payables. So we're going to have fit payable of 600. We're going to have sit payable of 200. We're going to have Social Security payable of 248. We're going to have Medicare payable of 58. We're going to have SDI payable for 40. And what's left over is what we're going to pay the employee uh, for the net check, which is 2854 Now, why are these payable? Because as an employer, this is money that doesn't belong to us. This is money that we withheld uh, from the employee's check, and it belongs to the government. So until we remit these amounts, these taxes to the government, we owe it. So they, these are all liabilities, okay? Now, I'd like to, to, to look at it that way because it's really easy. It's just FIT, SIT, FICA, and SDI, right? And um, uh, the next thing I want you to know is that, see these two numbers here? the Social Security uh, payable and the Medicare payable. We we took that out of uh, the employee's check. They're contributing to their Social Security and Medicare, right? That's good. But guess what? As an employer, we have to match it. You know, when 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 you consider hiring somebody and you go, well, I'm, I'm going to have to pay them twenty dollars an hour. It's going to cost you more than that because you have to contribute to their uh, Social Security and Medicare. <clears throat> you have to match it. So just remember, you see that uh, 248 and the 58 for Social Security and Me uh, Medicare? Well, I'm going to show you the employer entry, which includes the employer's payroll taxes, and you're going to see that. Okay, let's go back here to... Uh, the employer journal entry. Okay, so the employer uh, has payroll taxes and the total amount here is 546, but let's say we don't really know that yet. That's gonna be a plug number, but we, we do need to put in all of our uh, payroll taxes. Well, remember these two? Does that look familiar? 
because we withheld uh, the Social Security and Medicare of these amounts from the employee check, we have to match it. So we've got to contribute as well. So we're going to owe it. So that this is the employer's share of the Social Security and Medicare. And wait, there's one other thing. Uh, the employer has to pay unemployment insurance, right? And we call that FUTA. It's, it's, uh, the law is like Federal Unemployment Tax Act. And we also have a state unemployment tax act too from the state. And it's usually based upon um, amount up to a certain amount. So uh, federal unemployment tax, we're assuming that we're going to take 0.6% on the first 7,000. And so that's what we do. Well, we are, we the employee earned 4,000. 4, so 4,000 times 0.6% is $24. And then the 4,000 times the 5.4% is the 216. Okay, so that's uh, uh, important to know. Okay, now, after they make um, more than 7,000, you know, during the year, then you you quit taking uh, the tax, you don't you don't have to pay it anymore. It's just up to the 7,000. Now, remember that only the employer is subject to unemployment taxes. Remember that, only the employer. That's why you only see the FUTA payable and the SUTA payable in the employer journal entry. See, in the employee, you don't see that, right? You don't see FUTA and SUTA, why? Because it's, it, it's not paid by the um, employee. And you know, when you do your test questions and assessment questions, they're gonna ask you stuff like that. So uh, remember, FUTA is only for the employer. That's why it's here on the employer uh, journal entry. Now, uh, again, uh, the, the FICA, which is the Social Security and Medicare, well, the employer matches what was held from the employees. So that's why we have these uh, numbers, which are the same as what we withheld from the uh, the uh, employee, because right, we withheld it from the employee, so now we have to match it as the employer, right? That's what we did. All right, <clears throat> now, um, the book will start talking about, you know, tax returns, right? And I'm just, I'm just gonna share two of them. One is called the Form 940, and that just reports how much uh, FUTA taxes you collected, right? So that's related to this, right? The FUTA. And you report those amounts on that um, payroll tax return called the, the, the 940. There's another one that I'd like you to remember, and that's the, the form 941, excuse me, 941. Now, the 941 is uh, all of the, federal taxes, right? And what would the federal taxes be made up of? Well, FIT, federal income tax, and FICA. So FIT and FICA. And so we got FIT. Well, what's FICA? That's Social Security and Medicare. Well, what about like SIT and SDI? No, SIT, that's state income tax. That doesn't go on the 941. How about SDI? Pay it. No, no, that's state as well. There's there are forms for that, but that's for state forms, <clears throat> and they don't even talk about that in your textbook. They do talk about form nine forty one though, right? Which would be your uh, federal taxes, FIT and FICA, and of course FICA is Social Security and Medicare. Okay, I think that's a good overview. So study this, and hopefully that will help you remember. The biggest thing is to remember that the, the four categories uh, of withholdings is FIT, SIT, FICA, SDI. And FICA is made up of Social Security and Medicare. These are the withholdings from the employee's check, <clears throat> okay? No, note that 
for Social Security and Medicare, we have to match whatever we withheld from our employee. So on the employer, we had to match it, right? Now, another thing to remember, again, how about the unemployment tax? Who has to pay for that? Is it is it the employee? No. In fact, they're going to try to trick you on that. I, I see some of the problems that the multiple choice and all that. No, FUDA and SUDA, uh, the, any unemployment is only bared by the uh, employer, right? So just remember that it's not an employee tax. It's a it's an employer tax. Okay, with that, I think I'm done. So let me uh, just uh, minimize this. Ooh, let me see. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. I got stuff to share over here. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, steady hard, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.